Greetings guitar nerds. I've got a project that I'm really excited to share with you today. It's a five loop MIDI controllable loop switcher that I built to work with my Boss MS3. And for that reason, I've dubbed it the MLS5, the MIDI Loop Switcher 5. I've had it on my board a few weeks now and I wanted to just give a quick little demonstration of it in action. If you wanna know more about it or if you wanna build one yourself, I've got all the build documentation and a more thorough description at my website and that's linked below. So here it is. First thing to note is these fancy washers. Pretty snazzy, right? Well, there's some bad news. They were made for the standard 3P DT switches used in a lot of pedals and everything and I'm using SPST momentary switches, which turns out have a slightly different thread than the 3P DT switches. I've forced them on there um, using a, a socket, but they don't fit really, so I don't really recommend them. Anyway, you'll notice that uh, I've actually got one spare loop here in the middle that uh, is not doing anything right now. It's got a little special project that it's waiting for that is going to fit really well in there. Um, but uh, I built this switcher to work in concert with my Boss MS3, which is right down here. And it's just a fantastic multi-effects unit and board controller. It's got three built-in loops, but I just wanted more than the three onboard loops because I'm a dirt junkie. So in my uh, loops here, in my very first loop, I actually have a Sonic Titan clone right over here that... Uh, right there that I built. And then in the second loop is a Dumbloid clone, which is right here. There's nothing in the third loop. The fourth loop is this King of Tone clone right here. And the fifth loop is actually a TWE1 clone, which is actually up under here. That's uh, a little hard to access at the moment because of all the pedals and cables and everything. Anyway, on my MS3, I've got in my first loop right over here that you can see is illuminated. It's just a, uh, it's an empty patch really that feeds into the MLS5 so that I can manually control everything. So this is just my clean tone right here. And so I can come in here and I can kick on any one of these loops that I want. Dumbloid is a little bit uh, a little bit lighter on the drive side. I can stack these however I want. And then in my remaining three loops in this bank right here, or my three remaining patches in this bank, I have the Sonic Titan, I have the King of Tone clone, and I have the TWE1 clone. And since the patches on the on the MS3 are set up to send MIDI out to the MLS5. When I change the patch, it'll automatically change the active loop on the MLS5 as well. So for example, there's my Sonic Titan. And then I can switch over to my King of Tone. And then this is the TWE1. So as you can see, it activates everything just according to the uh, MIDI patch changes that I have programmed in to the MS3. And if I wanted to, I could make it so that the patches activated more than one of these loops at any given time. But uh, just for the demonstration purposes, I just had it going through and cycling through just uh, one at a time. So there's a quick look at the MLS-5. I have some ideas for how to improve it in the future, including uh, MIDI through or maybe button press combinations to save presets locally. However, that's going to be a ways off because I've got some other projects cooking up that I'm excited to share with you. So stick around and uh, they'll be coming soon. Thanks.